Today we're going to take a look at how I mount my regular my plate carrier and how I route for my antenna. Let's check it out. So here we are going to take a look at how I um, handled mounting a vest mounted antenna to, to my plate carrier. So obviously whenever you're going to carry a radio on here, uh, you got different ways you can mount it. You can put it in a pouch on the outside. You can carry it on the inside of your cummerbund. Uh, you'll see some guys put it on the back of their plate carrier. The back of the plate carrier doesn't work for me. I I want to be able to adjust my radio, switch over channels. Um, you know, this is my work radio, so we we go from a a main dispatch channel, so then we switch over and we go to our TAC one channel, which is a talk around channel. Uh, so I wanted it on the front here, so that way I can mess with my radio, turn the volume up, down, whatever I need to do. So the first way that I did this was using some type of a, a pouch like this, and this is a this is very similar to the Cry Precision pouch that's meant for these carriers. It is not one, it's a knockoff pouch. But the way of course that we done that was to put the pouch over here on my right side. This went over, the radio goes in, and the cord's allowed to wrap up and around the back and clip on over here. My radio needs to be on my right side. I don't know which side this is looking at on you, but this is the right side of the plate carrier, my right arm. I need the radio on the right side because I needed the mic to be able to go up around the shoulder and clip on here. I don't have any communications headsets, so I don't have any push to talk, so therefore this needs to route this way for me. Uh, obviously, if you have this big antenna flopping around here, you're not going to like that. So what I did was got on Amazon and bought this, I think it's a 20 inch cable. It's an SMA adapter to a BNC adapter. Then I got a two pack of these SM or a BNC adapters, I believe for $5. The cable costs $5, I think, and then these adapters cost $5. And they just screwed right into my Kenwood radio here. So what that allows me to do is quickly put this on. And this was a 90 because I kept it right here and then this ran around my plate carrier to the back. And this allowed me to be able to, you know, hot swap back and forth a different antenna. This antenna is another um, I don't know if you can see the glare right there. Uh, HYS. Um, this came in a two pack, I believe, for eight dollars. So far, it's held up really well. There was a plastic protector over the tip. It's gone. So, why do I need to do that? Because I get one radio at my work. That's it, and that's pretty standard. But this stays on my belt, so I need a I need a regular antenna on my belt. So this allows me to have that and to be able to pop it off. We get a call out. I can throw it in my vest and I can put the the uh, cable on. What I didn't like about this was every time I um, doffed or whatever, take off the vest. Anytime I took it off, I had to disconnect and, and go through all this. And I didn't like that. So the solution that I found, which if you've watched my... Um, Bees Combat Systems Aptum placard video, you'll kind of understand why I did this. Because so I can slide my radio in my front pouch here, and then now I can just simply connect right here on the front. And then you can see that it runs over the top of my shoulder right here and goes to my antenna on the back. Then this likewise will run over the shoulder and still clip onto the side right over here. So this system works well for me. Um, I finally got what I want. I can lift up this, I can get out of my vest and never mess with my radio. To show you what that looks like on the back side. Let's 
it's real simple the wire as you can see comes down and it just loops so when i went to the straight instead of the curved so this had a 90 degree bnc connector the other one was straight to come over my vest this cable was 20 inches which is just not quite long enough and this one i believe is 36 inches which is almost too long well, it seems like maybe somewhere around that 30 inch will be perfect but either way it works you just route it through and you know you can take up some space going over however much model you want to go over this is the antenna that actually came on my radio and that holding it on here and here through this molly is a, a hair tie um I, it's a thick bungee so hey you know what it works um you know ponytail holder but either way you know, work with what you got so this works out really well for me now um, you can you see the wire runs up it goes over my shoulder of course you can just follow it goes underneath the, the shoulder pad here and lands right here on the front of my carrier and that way this thing's out of the way if i'm not going to be shooting with you know for whatever reason if i don't have this on here this just hangs right here i can tuck it under a piece of the molly that's on the jpc and everything works great i do believe that if you can afford to or want to buy a uh a vest mounted antenna you can do your own research on all that i think cattail and disco 32 are the two that come to mind i think either one of those will do exactly what this does uh, maybe even a little better but this adapter came in a two-pack so i have one for my police radio and one for my baofeng civilian radio then where'd it go there it is these antennas came in a two-pack, I believe, for $8. So I can put one on my civilian radio, one on my Baofeng radio. And then this cable, this new one, cost $8 instead of the $5. So whatever, do the math. So for under $30, I have two vest-mounted systems. Uh, that's not bad. And, of course, I don't need, because I also use the same vest, whether it's civilian or police. Uh, camo doesn't really matter. Just pull the tag off if I need it for civilian use. But, anyways, uh, I kind of struggled figuring out. You see a lot of guys mount stuff on the inside right here with the long antenna that goes up, maybe attaches up here. I didn't really like that. You know, I ordered some of those antennas. I tried it out. I didn't like how in the way it was. So, uh, of course, for me operating in this capacity, I have a network. I have repeaters set up, you know, our, our police department and counties and have repeaters, and I can, you know, I can talk for several, several miles, so I don't need... Um, a huge antenna um, for this that handles that there's a there's how it looks all together and hopefully this will help somebody out give them an idea you uh, bnc to an sma that's the connectors you're looking for bnc on this end sma on the antenna end and these adapters don't fit all radios so make sure you look at the right adapter but hopefully this will help somebody out and give them a few ideas um, if they're if they're looking for a way to put a radio on a vest. I like the cleanness. I like the slickness. That's why I have a single shingle, not something double stacked. That's why I got this out from underneath the cummerbund and put it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Maybe it'll help somebody out. Come back and see me. Train well.